Welcome to Wednesdays with Wendy and Lisa. It's a thing. Sorry, you're hearing my dog squeaking toys and playing in the background. Um, happy St. Patrick's Day to all of you who celebrate. It's just kind of a woo, kind of a fun thing. Lisa posted something cool on her stories. You should check out her stories about the origins of St. Patrick. I thought was kind of cool, something I didn't know. So if you get a minute, you should check that out. So quickly, I'm going to just do a couple of announcements because I want to make sure that we don't run out of time. I think we all on this call know, but for folks who are maybe watching the replay, Plexus, of course, being the awesome company and wanting us to succeed, they extended the share, the love promotion. So folks, you can still sign folks up for a dollar. You can still get free shipping. And that's pretty exciting stuff. I think that if, I don't know, somebody tell me if I'm wrong, the SAM 2020 code is still working too. So you can either decide free shipping or you can decide SAM 2020, which personally myself, I think the code is a better deal. Um, so that's still going on. Our forfeit group kicked off this week. It's already a huge success. We're already having an awesome time. I'm just, you guys, if you're not a part of it, if you just want to watch it for a month, let us know. I'd love to add you to the group so that you can just get a feel for what we're doing in there because it is a blast. So if you're not a part of that, um, let me know. Message Lisa, message me, and uh, we'd be happy to give you all the skinny on that. So Lisa sent me a video. You guys, literally, I'm going to be super honest. I've never been less prepared for a call. <laughs> Then I am for this one. Lisa and I normally spend a little bit of time working together during the day, and we typically um, talk for a little bit beforehand, and literally we had, what, five minutes to talk, Lisa? Mm -hmm. But Lisa sent me, what we've been doing through our mindset series is we've been showing you videos that are inspirational, that have a lot to do with, you know, taking control of your life, taking control of your mm -hmm. mindset actually winning the war on your mind, right? Because you get into negative patterns and that's a whole science thing I'm not going to get into. But anyways, the more positive that you think, the more positive neural pathways that are going through your brain and the less negative ones that are going. And so anyway, Lisa sent me a video. So I'm going to go ahead and share that. We'll watch that. And then we're going to get to our fabulous guests, unless you have something you want to say, Lisa. Just that we still are working on volume with yes. the videos. So if anybody has any suggestions or knows something we're missing, we you're going to have to lean in. Yeah, because I do realize I, I, it's quiet for me as well. So I'm hopeful that you guys will be able to hear it because it really is a good video. And I'm sorry about that. And I promise I'm working on it. And hopefully I will get it taken care of very soon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. Uh-oh. <laughs> Wendy. Yes, okay. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, there is, you can read the captions or we yeah. can just abandon it. Vote. <laughs> Unmute yourself, Wendy. It's when you mute. Yeah. <laughs> Better? Yeah, yeah.
car, but I'm driving this crack ass car. And on and on and on. And your day starts slowly into what you ought to be at the top of the day. You could wake up in the morning and just say, you know what? Today is going to be a great day. I expect something really good to happen to me today. So what did you say? You said, I said, I'm having a great day today. I expect something good to happen today. Form in positive terms around and go, all right, let me have your attention. Steve's having a great day today. He's expecting some wonderful things to happen. And man, let's get it going. And let's start manufacturing thoughts. Same way, man. I can't wait to go to work today. It may not be the job I want, but at least I got a job. I'm so sure grateful I got a car to drive to work today. Hey, man, at least I got a check coming in. I appreciate the fact that I don't have a car, but at least I can walk to the train. Man, this is going to be great today. That's how your mind works. It's what you do for yourself. It never turns out. You change your attitude, you change your health. Amen to that. That was good, Lisa. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing. I paused it, so hopefully it's not going to be playing on. I just love that. I, I do, because it really, I don't want to ever discount the seriousness of depression mm -hmm. and anxiety and all of those things. Believe me, I understand it. But I also know that we really do have the power every single day to make a choice. And he just said it so beautifully. You can decide if you're going to have a bad day. You can decide if you're going to have a good day. You can decide if you're going to run down that rabbit hole, right? Like yesterday I made coffee and I was talking on the phone and it was a business call and it was an important call. And I went to take my little hand blender and blend up froth it, you know, and it just spilled everywhere all over my phone. I was on speakerphone. And I mean, some people, that's enough to derail your whole day. But I had to make a choice like right then and there. It's not really that big of a deal. Like I had to weigh it against other really bad things that happened. And it was a choice. It was a choice I made right there that it wasn't that big of a deal. I ended up telling the person that I talked to, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I spilled coffee all over my phone. I'm so sorry. And you know what? It was fine. And my whole day was fine. Anyway, all of that to say, that's what we decided to do this whole month about is changing your mindset. And one of the people that Lisa and I both super duper admire, and we love watching her post is Sherry. And so we decided to ask Sherry to be a guest on this call. And she said, yes. And so I'm not going to say anything further about Sherry, I'm going to go ahead and unmute. Actually, Amanda, it says I have to ask you to unmute. I'm going to go ahead and unmute her sponsor, Amanda, and I'm going to let Amanda introduce her to you. So take it away, Amanda. All right. Well, first of all, um, I just want to say what a pleasure it is to be able to introduce her. Um, I met Sherry three years ago. We both work for the same company and um, it it was one of those things that we knew right away it was a God thing. Um, we we hit it off and we were similar in so many ways. Yeah. And I probably asked her, how long, Sherry? Six months or longer? Drink that pink drink yet? You drink that pink drink? No, it's still <laughs> the door. Girl, you know you don't you drink that. But in that last three years, I have seen this girl grow Oh my gosh, growing the Lord, growing her faith, growing her leadership abilities and her friendship. She absolutely means the world to me. She will be the first one to kick me straight in my pants and tell me exactly what I want to hear because she don't put no filter on it. If you, if you don't need one, she ain't going to put it on there. <laughs> and, uh, and I think that's a, that's a true friend right there. She'll tell you the truth, whether, whether it's 
no sugar coating and just the way it is. And that's one of the things that I love about her. Um, she has a heart probably as big as any person I know. She loves to reach out and help people. And she has recently started a new podcast. Um, so if you have not heard that, you definitely have to check that out because it is absolutely, ugh. I'm telling you, I cannot say enough good words about her because she is, she is definitely um, one of my favorite people in this whole wide world. And I'm so blessed to call her my friend and my partner. So take it away, Sherry. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, do you guys mind if we just open up with a word, a little word of prayer right quick? Nobody have a problem with that. Okay. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I just thank you for this day. Father God, I thank you for uh, this opportunity. Lord, I just pray for each and every person that's on this call. I pray for their families. Lord, I pray for um, our goals, Lord. I pray for uh, the leaders that you placed over us. Father God, I just thank you for uh, the Plexus Company that has um, done a great deal in my life and in my health with these products. So I just pray for each and every uh, household, pray that everyone is safe. I just thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, uh, who died for the pardon of our sins. Lord, I ask for the forgiveness of sins. Father God, and just help us um, to, to guard our minds, guard our hearts, Lord. And we will um, always, always give you uh, glory and thanks. It's in Jesus' name, amen. All right. Thank you guys. Um, well, that video was, was wonderful. Um, it just kind of really leads up into what I'm going to talk about. I took some notes and things like that. I really, you know, just really spent some time just, um, thinking about the mindset and, and things like that. And the mind is like a little muscle, you know, we have to use it. The more we use it in a positive way, um, that way it'll, you know, it'll grow. You know, we also have to make sure that we're surrounding ourselves around positive people um, because negative uh, mindset can get into you, into your spirit. Uh, positive energy, it's, it's, it's contagious. So I always um, just try to stay a, around positive people. I try to keep a positive mindset. Now here recently, I was going through, um, not really going through anything, but I was just having some, some down, some downward spins in my, uh, in my business. And we will have challenges. Everybody, you know, is going to have challenges in, in life and whatever they do, but we, we have to take those challenges and turn them into positive, just grow from them, grow from that. And I wasn't really down on myself, but I was thinking of giving up and quitting some things. But again, it goes, like Steve was saying, you have that negative mindset, but you have to conquer that and overcome that with uh, positive thoughts, um, just positive thinking. And you know, we have to encourage ourselves. We can't sit around and wait for someone to encourage us. We have to encourage ourselves. You know, you have to talk to yourself. I just talked myself self out of it you know you have people that's depending on you you have a whole team of individuals that that need your leadership and your guidance you know so where would you leave them where would they be if you you quit or, or gave up so the mind said you know I, all that was going through my mind and of course several people on our team you know reached out to me and you know I'm not going to let you quit, hang in there. And it just really helped me to, you know, get my mind, you know, back to where it, where back focus, where it need, where it should have been in, in the first place. But like I said, we'll have challenges. Anybody will have challenges in life, but we have to uh, just think positive, think positive and embrace, um, embrace the good things. And even the challenges in your life, um, you have to embrace those because that's how we grow. That's how God teaches us. And um, he molds us through the hard times in life, through the difficult times. And that brings out the best 
when you're going through a difficult time, it brings out the best in you. But always, you know, stay positive. I um, always try to keep smiling and um, just being a, a, a good cheer to everybody. Let me go to some notes. I kind of took some notes because I know I kind of ramble, but I wanted to make sure I touched on some key points that maybe be able to help someone. So um, we also, we have to keep our, uh, our energy at a high level, you know, and, and have a growth mindset. You know, like we, most of us are entrepreneurs. So we have to keep that, that growth mindset at the forefront of our minds because, you know, we want to grow, we want to grow. So we always, we have to think positive. We have to talk uh, blessings and positivity over our lives because if, you know, the word of God says that life is in the power of the tongue. You know, we have the ability to speak blessings over our lives, but we also have the ability to speak, to speak uh, bad things over our lives. So that's why we have to watch what we, we speak into our own spirits and we have to watch what we speak into other people's spirits. That's why I like to, um, you know, and we all do. We all do. And I've noticed that with all the ladies here, we all encourage one another. When someone is is ranking up, uh, we're, we're quick to to cheer them on and and just be happy for them genuinely. And that's how uh, it should be, you know, just cheering each other on and just being happy for each other and encouraging each other along the way, along along this journey. OK. Was that a timer? Oh, OK. Um, also, I just wanted to um, to touch on, um, of course, embrace the mistakes in life. You know, we'll make mistakes. No one is perfect, but just grow and learn from those. And um, let's see what else I kind of got here. I don't want to kind of get get lost, so I just want to make sure I stick to my notes. Okay. Um, I wanted to touch on like 2 Timothy 1 through 7. I'm sorry, 1 7, for God had uh, not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and a sound mind. So that means that, you know, with, with the Lord, we can do anything, you know, because his word says that, but he didn't give us a spirit of fear. So we, we shouldn't be fearful. You know, sometimes we have pity parties, but if you're a child of God, you know that whatever you're going through, God is going to bring you out of it. He's right there with you because he's also said in his word that he'll never leave nor forsake you. So I'd say that to myself all the time, you know, Lord, you said that you would never leave nor forsake me. And I'm a living witness that he will give you what you ask for. He will give it to you. The job I'm in now, I prayed for it and I had faith. I believed that I had that job and I claimed it. I claimed it on the interview. I told the interviewer that uh, I'm the next postmaster in Litchfield. I claimed that and I didn't know I was gonna get that job, but I claimed that job. And you know, that's just the testament of God that he said that we have not because we ask not. So you ask him in faith, and he's able to, to do exceedingly abundantly ab above what we can ask for or even think of. So let's just uh, keep a positive mindset. Let's, you know, not give up. Let's encourage. Let's continue to encourage each other, encourage our teammates. And I know it's probably easier said than done, but it can be done. It can be done. We all you just just keep thinking positivity. Just keep thinking positive. You know, you know, you'll have bad days, but or a bad moment. It's just a moment, you know. But it's all about how we perceive it, the notion that we per we, we perceive it as. So that's, um, you know, that's. It's probably more, but that's kind of it in a nutshell. Just you know, just keeping that positive mind frame. I love Any that. Questions? I love that, Sherry. I did it's too. hard. It can be hard. 
Yeah. You have to be so conscious of it. You know, yeah. one thing that I learned a long time ago is that, I mean, it's our mind's job to protect us. And so anytime we come in contact with uncomfortable situations, which all, all of us, we put ourselves out there in such a way that it can be uncomfortable. We can get our hands slapped. We can be misinterpreted, like all of those things. And what your body, what your wants to, it wants to protect you. Your mind doesn't, it wants you to go get away from doing that. Like, you know, don't put yourself out there stop doing that. It's that flight kind of, you know, thing that we don't really need anymore. Um, and so you really have to work at it. It's not just something to wake up one day and have a mind, a, a positive mindset. And the other thing Absolutely. I believe as Christians, we're under attack. Whenever we're out there doing well, Satan doesn't want any part of that. And where does he attack yeah. you? In your belief, in your mind, and what in you think mind. about yourself. And, you know, so it's a conscious effort that you really have to, you know, when I hear people say, oh, the mindset thing or whatever, it's, it's so true. You know, you really have Absolutely. to work at it. So I appreciate everything that you shared and especially the vulnerable part where you felt like maybe at one point you weren't going to continue doing this. Sherry, I remember <laughs> that day. I remember that day when you posted it in the chat and you were like, I am, I've had enough. I've, I've yeah. I'm just done. I mean, does anybody else remember that? Because I, re yep. you were, you were so, and, and that was kind of one of the things that, as Lisa and I were talking about, you know, who we wanted to have on as guests. It was one of the things that I, we thought of you because of that moment. I mean, look what you've done since then with your business and just the way that you on, on Facebook, you're so real and you present all of, you know, you're, you're, you present all the things that you're going through without the drama, right? Like, I don't feel like I'm, I'm looking at Sherry's page every day. Like, Oh God, <laughs> another thing. You know what I mean? You just, it's always, it's always so we get the truth, but we get the positive part of it too. The uplifting, like what did Sherry do to fix that? Or what did Sherry do to make it better? And I, I love that about you. I really do. And so we were super excited to have you on the call because of that, because you have just set such a great example of what you can do just by simply changing your mindset about something. So anybody have questions so for true. Sherry? And can I throw two things out? Yeah, if quickly? anybody has questions. Absolutely. It, it's yeah, crazy, Sherry, if you bring that up. Can you guys hear me okay? Yeah. Yes. Hey, Sherry, it's crazy mm -hmm. you bring that up because um, where you talked about scripture, if it, two things I heard today. The first one was from David Jeremiah this morning. His series is on dealing with fear. Mm -hmm. um, so if, if, you, if you don't like or do like or want to hear something cool from David Jeremiah, on fear, his message this morning was it was awesome. It's so it's on davidjeremiah.org. You can go to radio broadcast and listen to it. It's it's really good about how we how we um, have the ability to respond and and not fear, right? So you, you that perfect. And then on the way home tonight, I heard one from Dr. Ed Young, um, him talking about how when um, when you're in God's presence and in your His God's will does doesn't mean that the storms won't hit. So his example was mm -hmm. that Jesus and the disciples in the boat, um, the storm hits, but they were following Jesus into the boat, trusting him when they went out on the lake. And here's Jesus sleeping on some cushions, just chilling, and they wake him up, not realizing the power that the, that's that's with them. And so oh, when, yes. when we're in difficult times, some of those times that are the most difficult are we're most in line with his will. Because as you said, uh, Wendy, that, that um, it, that's when Satan really wants to attack. And, and we've got to stand that much more firm with our belief and our faith because we are in God's will and in his, his plan and following it with our lives. Absolutely. Absolutely. I had my um, pastor's wife. She's um, a real mentor to me and, sits down with me to do to you know to teach me the word of god and things like that and she's such a powerful uh, teacher and she always tells me that satan of course we know satan comes to kill steal and destroy we know that we understand that but she also tells me that 
God places us in situations. Sometimes when things are going on in our life, we 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 like to blame Satan. That's Satan. That's Satan. But sometimes God uses things to bless us, and we may not. It may look bad, but it may be what He wants to to use to bless us with, to teach us, to grow us. Because I, you know, I've had a lot of situations that I thought were just horrible and I was just wasn't going to make it, but I have always came out on top of that. And once I start getting my, my mind together, as I've grown in Christ, when I start to, you know, think, I always overcome that with something positive, with something from the word of God. That's why I have to, it's, it's crucial that we stay in the word of God. I prayed and meditated for about an hour before this even started mm -hmm. because I wanted to make sure that it was something that I said that was that the Lord wanted somebody to hear. You know, so I'm, I'm hoping that mm -hmm. it's something that I said that, you know, may have uh, touched somebody and somebody will, will want to keep going on their journey and would want to, you know, just, you know, be positive in life and hang around some good, positive, encouraging women. I wish and we then, had hearts like we did on Facebook. I want to do all the hearts. <laughs> There's no hearts. <laughs> <laughs> Praise hands, amen, all the things, but there's there's none of those buttons on here. So I, I just hope that, um, that we all can, um, you know, all of your businesses be blessed to, you know, as much as you, you guys want to go, as far as you want to go, we can get there. We can get there. Just keep a uh, positive mindset. Keep speaking uh, positivity and life over yourself, your families and your business. And we'll get there. We'll get there. I agree. And I it just, I don't know, I was inspired as you were talking. One of the things that I've really learned is that exactly what you said when you have a situation going on you know so say you are really afraid about your finances and you find yourself like thinking about a certain situation over and over again and you just can't like your heart's beating fast and your cheeks are red and you just can't seem to get away from it the bible app if if you don't have the bible app it's free um, if you, if you ever, if you know who Craig Groeschel is and, and what his vision was for the Bible app, it's kind of a cool story. If you don't know, we don't have time for me to go through it all right now, but it's a cool story. It's free. And you can literally go to your Bible app and search finances. And there will be verse after verse, after verse, after verse that you can read about your finances or, or a list of Bible studies that you can go through about your finances to help you, right? So you can combat those negative thoughts with the word of God, with the truth. Because, you know, devil's place and lies. You're never going to get out of this debt. You're never going to get on top of it. You're always going to be a borrower, not a lender. But that's not what the Bible says. The Bible says that we will lend and not borrow. And you can look that up. You can actually just go to your Bible. So if you don't have it, I, I feel like pretty much everybody on this call probably does. But for those who are maybe going to watch the replay, if you don't have the Bible app, you need the Bible app. You need to download it to your phone. You need to use it often. It's a free resource. It's like a cabinet concordance in your pocket. Um, because what Sherry says is absolutely 100% true. You have to combat the lies with the word of God. It's out there. It's at your fingertips. So anybody else have anything they want to say? ptv.org victory over worry wars is what Krista put in the chat in case folks aren't actually reading along with the chat. And then the website is davidjeremiah.org. And I also um, went on YouTube while we were talking and he also has a YouTube channel that you can subscribe to just search David Jeremiah and you can go ahead and subscribe to his sermons. So we have three minutes left. Anything else anybody wants to go through? Wendy, the PTV is Pathway to Victory, and that's Dr. Robert Jeffers out of Dallas Theological Seminary. Okay. And his, his message today was on victory over the worry wars. David Jeremiah's was also on fear. And then Ed Young was on, on making sure that you understand that even when you're in the presence of Jesus, there's still going to be troubles. Isn't that the truth? Mm -hmm. I'm just putting that in my phone right now before this call is over, so before I miss it. Anything else anybody has to say? Any more questions for Sherry? Lisa, you no got questions. anything? No questions. This is so good. 
<laughs> Thank you. It was good. It was. <laughs> Hi, Laura Wilson. We were I just saw Laura Wilson's name too. I'm so glad so you were excited. able to get on. I'm muted next to sleeping ish children, so I'm <laughs> quietly listening. Well, it's so good to see your name on here. Amanda Laura. gave we us a heads you. up on that. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I was talking over Sherry someone. you've grown so much I remember the first time I asked you to speak I think we asked you during a summer to just share your health testimony do you remember yeah <laughs> I mean you were so like nervous we kind of talked about it before like you were you're just like you've grown so much in that short amount of time I'm so in awe and I thank you. You add a lot of value to my journey and we appreciate you. The other thing that we also said was that Sherry shows up. Sherry suits up and shows up. Yes. And when you suit up and you show up, your life does change. Yes. And everything absolutely. you do, it's about how much you participate and you're a part of. And so it was very easy to ask you to, sh to be a part of this and to share tonight. So thank you for saying yes. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I appreciate right. you guys. We appreciate you. We absolutely do, Sherry. Okay. Well, since it's St. Patty's Day, we have less than one minute. I'm going to read the Irish blessing and then we're out. Okay. So okay. <laughs> may the road rise up to meet you. May the wind always be at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. Thank you so much, guys. God bless. Have a great night. Bye. Thank you, Sherry. Absolutely. Bye, guys.